friends, welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. Today is the minis challenge that's hosted every month by Corey with Crafted by Corey. I'll let you know more about that in a few minutes. But first of all, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brenda and this is my sleepy Oliver. And if you're returning, welcome back. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here's DIY number one. So for this DIY, I'm gonna use these half beads that I got from Amazon. I am going to use a decal that I created with my Cricut. I'm going to use this house that I just recently found at Dollar Tree. It's amazing. And then this, uh, my Waverly chalk paint in the color Snow White. So I took my half beads and I put them on some painter's tape. And then I'm just painting, um, painting them with my Snow White color by Waverly. And after I have them all painted and they're dry, I decided to place my decals. Now, I wasn't quite sure exactly how or where to place them, so I laid everything out, and then I realized, oop, I don't want, <laughs> I don't want to put that over my uh, other word there. Anyway, so I'm just going to get my decals on, and then I'm going to add my little half beads. Now, this house, you guys, is amazing. I did not have to paint it. It has a little bit of distressing on it. I just love it. So if you see these at Dollar Tree, I'd re recommend picking them up because they think they're great. They have a little stand on the back. They're perfect. Anyway, so I took my beads here and I'm taking a Sharpie and I'm making a face on that snowman. So I use black to draw in his eyes, his um, eyebrows and some dots for his mouth. And then I used the orange there to make a carrot nose. Once I was done, I decided, oh, it needs to have buttons. So I colored in some buttons on his belly as well. And then after that, I am going to hot glue them in place. And I, I don't know. I, when I, um, originally planned on doing this, I was going to have <clears throat> my wordings down a little farther down towards the bottom so that I could put a bow on the top. And so I wasn't really thinking when I placed my decals because you can see there's that gap, but that's okay. I'm going to fix it. So <laughs> that's the good part about crafting. We can just fix things, right? So I took some of this scarf from Dollar Tree. I just took one of the fringes and cut it a little bit and I'm just gonna hot glue it around the snowman's neck to make it look like a scarf. Then I just took my scissors and I did some cutting to make it um, have a fringe on the end. And I thought I would just leave it kind of flowing to the side like it is because I felt like it looks like it's like it's blowing in the wind. I just loved it. <laughs> then I took another piece of that scarf and just made a little covering for his head to look like a hat. And then I took some of this black gingham ribbon from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to cover that bottom part with it just like you see right there and look at that isn't that perfect and then I grabbed this greenery now I got this from Family Dollar last year and I absolutely loved it I used it all the time last year and I was really hoping to find more this year but I, I haven't seen anything in fact every time I go into our Family Dollar they're like barely have anything Last time I went in there, they had boxes everywhere and they were getting everything out. And I haven't been in there since. But anyways, a little late now to get Christmas stuff. But um, yeah, anyways, so I just made a bow with that gingham ribbon. And then I'm going to hot glue it to the top and add these. This is, um, it comes in a bag of little picks of pine cones and pit berries from Hobby Lobby. And there it is. That's all I did to it. And I love it. I think it is just adorable. And there's snow place like home, right? <laughs> okay, today is the minis challenge. And if it is hosted by the amazing Corey with Crafted by Corey. If you don't know who she is, you really need to check her out. She is such a sweetheart and she is so talented. I just love this lady. So make sure you check her out and then check out the playlist to get all kinds of inspiration for mini or tear tray items. <laughs> okay, here's DIY number two. So for this DIY, I am going to use some diamond dust. Now I just recently got this from Amazon. 
I am going to use my Waverly chalk paint in the color Snow White. I'm going to use my Waverly Antique Wax. I'm going to use one of these snowflake ornaments that come from Dollar Tree. This little box I got from Woodpecker's Crafts. They sent this to me because I am an affiliate with them. And then I'm going to use part of a gift box. Okay, so I'm going to start off by adding some spackling to that hole to cover the hole so you don't see it when I paint it. Then I took my antique wax and I'm just brushing it all along my little box here. And then I'm going to wipe off the excess with that paper towel that you see laying right there next to me. And then I'm going to just do that all the way around the inside and the outside part of this shadow box. And then once that was done, I painted my snowflake and a tumbling tower block with my snow white chalk paint. Then I took the box here and I'm just laying it right over the opening and I'm going to mark it right where I want to cut it. And then I'm going to cut it out so that it will fit into my box. Now this box, I last year, I believe it was, I created a sign um, using the front part of this box. So if I, um, I'm, I'll try and link that to my, in my description box so you can see what the front part of the box looked like. So I'm just using my glue stick here and I am just going to attach that to the inside part of my box. I just loved it. I thought it's a great um, look for winter. And then I, I almost hot glued my tumbling tower block on the wrong side of my snowflake. Good thing I noticed right away. So I just added that to my box and then I added uh, some glue, some hot glue on the top of the block and added my snowflake. Here I'm just adding some Mod Podge and I'm going all over the snowflake with it. I kept finding uh, glue strings, <laughs> trying to pick them all out. And then after I had it covered, I took my diamond dust and I am just going to sprinkle it all over that uh, snowflake. Now, if you don't know what diamond dust is, it's like um, crushed glass. It's really cool, but it's very uh, sparkly. I really like it. Then after that, I took another one of these picks and I'm just going to hot glue it to the bottom part of my shadow box. And then I'm going to take some of this ribbon. Now I got this ribbon from Hobby Lobby. It was on sale a couple months ago. It was on clearance for, and I got it for like 74 cents. And it's like, who can pass that up, right? And who, I mean, you always can use black gingham. So yeah. Anyway, so I'm just going to dovetail the ends and hot glue that to the corner. And it is a little bit wider than the ones you get from Dollar Tree. And that's all there was for this one. I love it. It's so simple, but I think it is just so pretty. Um, you have to let me know what you think about this one as well. Okay, so time of celebration of your recreations, but I don't have anything to share. Everyone's too busy getting ready for Christmas. So if you have a creation or a recreation that you would like me to showcase for you, you can email it pictures to me to that email address there or send it to me through Facebook Messenger or Instagram and I'd be happy to showcase it for you. So here's DIY number three. So for this DIY, I'm going to use this Let It Snow wood piece from Dollar Tree. This, um, snow globe from Dollar Tree. Then I created this decal with my Cricut. Uh, this page from this paper pack from Hobby Lobby. And then my Waverly Antique Wax and my Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Snow White. I also uh, uh, used the color ink. I forgot to show it. So I'm going to start off by cutting off this little twine bow. And then I use my finger sander to sand off all the glitter. And once that was all off, um, then I decided to try and pull off that paper and it came right off. And so then I just used my spray bottle and spritzed on the backing part of the paper that was stuck there and then used my paint scraper to scrape it off. And uh, once I got that off, there was still a little bit on. So I just sprayed a little more water and scraped it all off and then just used Goo Gone to remove any of the adhesive stickiness that was on there. And then I took my uh, chalk paint in the color ink 
and I am painting the bottom part of this snow globe and then I'm going to paint all around the edge and I paint the back side. Um, so you'll see in a little bit that the front I, I didn't have fully covered because I'm going to cover it with my paper. Then I took my uh, Let It Snow wood decal here and I'm painting it with my white chalk paint. But after I got done, I realized, you know, this is not going to stand out because the pat paper is mainly white. So um, I was pink. I was going over the snowflake there with the antique wax. And I thought, okay, well, maybe if I use my, uh, what is that, baby wipe <laughs> that I was using, um, I can smear some of the antique wax over the white and maybe that will help, help it pop. Um, so I do that. I guess I use a paper towel instead. So I, I do try to smear some of the wax on it, but, um, it, it still wasn't enough. So I do something different here in a few minutes. So then I took the, uh, round part of my globe and I trace it out on uh, with my paper and then I'm just cutting it out. Then I take my glue stick and I am putting it all over my, globe and I'm going to add my paper to it and after I get it added I go to turn it over and went oh no I put my paper on the wrong side I put it on the side that was all painted and I was just like oh so I just cut out another piece of paper and added it to that side <laughs> then I added my decal on the bottom here and after I have this added um I don't remember what I did next. Okay, this is where I thought, okay, it's not going to work that way. It's too white still. So I just went and covered it with my antique wax. If you're new here, I want to say welcome. I am so glad you stopped by today. If you like home decor on a budget, holiday decor, thrift flips, gift ideas, and I invite you to hit that red subscribe button, become part of our YouTube family, then hit that notification bell and set it to all so you're notifi notified whenever I upload a video. My normal upload times are Mondays at 5 p.m. Central, but I do like to participate in challenges such as this during the week, and that way YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a video. And again, make sure you guys, if you like this video, give me that thumbs up and comment because you know that helps this girl's channel grow, and that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> so as you can see there, I just used some uh, glue dots, um, to put behind my let it snow stick uh, wood piece and because I wanted it to kind of come up off the globe a little bit and then I'm just wrapping that gingham ribbon around where the paper meets the globe and I just love this it says let it snow somewhere else because I lived most of my life where we got a lot of snow and I really don't like to live in snow anymore and so um, I don't mind snow when it's around Christmas time, but after Christmas, yeah, I don't want it to snow at all. <laughs> but if you love snow, that's amazing. That's great. I do like snow. I just don't like the inconvenience of having to drive in it and put boots on and coats on and all that kind of stuff. So I'd rather not live in snow. I'll go visit it. <laughs> Uh, so then I decided I wanted to have some of this uh, ribbon or go around the top of it too and that's all there was for this I love it I think it's really cute you have to let me know what you think about this one as well Okay, I'd like to invite you to come on over and follow me on social media. You can find the links to my accounts in my description box below. So come on over, say hello, let me know you're there. Okay, DIY number four. So I got this idea off of Pinterest. I'm going to use this fishbowl from Dollar Tree. I'm going to use this ornament that I got from Hobby Lobby. My poly acrylic that I got from Walmart and some glitter from Hobby Lobby and my Waverly chalk paint in the color Snow White. This broken snowflake and some of these uh, snowflakes from Walmart. Now that broken snowflake, I broke it. I didn't buy it that way. <laughs> so I'm going to start off by putting my poly acrylic inside my um, fishbowl here. And I am just going to swirl it around and get an even coat all around the fishbowl. 
And then after I have it all over and it's all covered, I'm gonna pour the excess in my little jar there. And then I'm going to uh, set it upside down into a solo cup. That way all the excess, the rest of the excess can drip out of there. And I let it set for probably about 20 minutes. And so then I took a box cutter and I am just trying to cut this top piece off of this ornament because this is going to be the lid over my fishbowl and we didn't really need that piece. After that, I painted those two things white. And then when my um, fishbowl was done dripping, I took this glitter and I just sprinkled it inside and I'm just shaking it all around so that it coats the whole inside of my fishbowl and this is just like you do those ornaments but I thought let's do this to a fishbowl instead and I love this because um the glitter's on the inside so you don't have to worry about glitter falling off or getting everywhere because it stays on the inside so it's perfect and then look I tipped my glitter onto my desk oh my goodness oh, anyways once that was all done I took my decal here and I'm just going to put this on the front of my um, little fish bowl here. And after I have this on, I am going to take some fix all glue and some hot glue and going around the rim of that fish bowl. And then I'm gonna add my wood round to the top to act as a lid. Now, if you you could just add some lights to this too if you wanted that would have been really cute and then i took my um, snowflakes here and i'm hot gluing them to the top of my lid i did cut the little ornament part off of those snowflakes that came from walmart and then after that i'm taking my glue gun here and i'm just making drips so that it looks like snow dripping down or icicles um and once I do that all the way around the fishbowl, after that I took my white paint and I'm just painting over those drips. I probably should have left it blank maybe to look like ice and just put sprinkles on it. I don't know. I think it's cute, but it might've looked a little more like icicles if I didn't paint it, but I was kind of more looking, wanting it to look like snow. So anyways, I took my Mod Podge and I went over the whole top of the lid here and those snowflakes with my Mod Podge. And after that, I'm going to sprinkle the diamond dust all over it so that it gets all nice and shiny and snowy looking. And I probably should have added it to those drips and I didn't. But anyways, oh, I wanted to show you Oliver wanted me to hold him. So I put him inside my apron. So he just sat there while I did this whole project. <laughs> And I thought he was so cute. <laughs> Anyways, there it is. I think it's really cute. You have to let me know what you think about this. And should I have maybe added some sparkles to those dripping snowflakes or snow icicles, whatever they are? <laughs> you have to let me know. Here is the final reveal. Again, if you have not hit that subscribe button yet, please hit that before you go. It doesn't cost you a thing and it really does help me. And then again, make sure you give me that thumbs up. And I will be back again on Tuesday with another new video. So with all that being said, you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.